Hello everyone! Every time we prepare to create our own and unique Habanas moment, there are two things that we must repeat always. Two very personal things that every aficionado enjoys. And they are mark of the beginning of the ritual. That's cutting and lighting of the cigar. Of course, there are actions before that are also very important, like choosing the cigar for the right occasion, choosing the ambient, etc. But we will talk about it in some other videos. I want to bring these two things on the very beginning of our journey because I think they play a very important role in our enjoyment and improper handling can completely ruin our experience because we didn't follow through a few technical things. In today's episode, we will focus on cigar cutting. So, let's see what I have here in front of me. As you can see, there are a lot of tools for performing such a task. I would like to separate them in three basic groups. Straight cut, V-cut and punch. First, let's talk about the straight cut. For me personally, this is the best way to cut your cigar. And I always recommend it. Now, let me show you what kind of cutter you will find out there. The most common one is a double blade guillotine and the second one are the scissors. What we have to pay attention is that we always have to use sharp double blade guillotine. So, how do we perform this? As you can see, every Cuban cigar have that recognizable third cap. And that helps us a lot because that's going to be our guideline. That cap is always finishing in the middle of what I like to call cigar shoulder. As you can see, those round edges. So, where is the line where we should cut our cigar and why? Basically, one millimeter above the third cap line is perfect because we are sure that we won't cut our cigar too deep. If we cut it too deep, we can damage the part of the cap that holds the wrapper and our wrapper can start to unreveal and ruin the whole experience. First, open the cutter, lean it on the finger of the hand in which you're holding the cigar. It's important that cigar is at 90 degree angle to the cutter. We place the cutter on the finger because we need a good support in order to cut the cigar precisely and safely and to avoid handshaking. Checking the position of the cutter and one fast and determined cut without hesitation and turning or twisting the cigar. So just place it and perform from the beginning till the end. What we have here is just a cap. The cigar is wide open and we still have our edges or shoulders a little bit rounded. If we use the scissors, we just repeat the task the same way. Now, let's talk about the V-cut. With this kind of cutter, you don't have too many options. So basically, just place the cigar to the end at 90 degrees and hold still with easy pressure and cut. The V-cut. And the last one is the punch. Also, here are not too many things that you can do when it comes to the punch. Only thing that you should pay attention is the diameter of the hole that you are going to make. The best one is the one that has a couple of options when it comes to the size. Because you can't punch the ring gauge of 40 with the same cutter like the ring gauge of 54. Because it will be too big for the 40 ring gauge or too small for the 54 ring gauge. That's why if you like to use punch, the best one is with couple of options. Don't make the hole too big or too small. This will be something that I recommend. As you notice, we use parejo shaped cigars to show the different cuts, but we also have piramida or figurado. So for this shape, we use a double blade guillotine to cut. This is very personal. Some of us like smaller holes and some of us like to open cigar a little bit more, but I always recommend to stay in the middle. So six, seven millimeters will be just fine. Cigar is open and we keep our figurado shape. So see you next time on our channel. 
we will talk about a cigar lighting. 